Hi and welcome to our video for 12.2 chemical calculations. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about here is using mole ratios. Now you guys have been balancing equations for a little bit and you've been coming up with all those coefficients in front of each chemical formula and we're going to use those coefficient numbers to determine mole. It was a conversion factor that uses the coefficients of a balanced chemical equation and you use these to convert between moles of reactant and product moles of two different reactants okay so let's look at an example here so if we want to say the ratio of the moles of let's do two different reactants first okay so if we look here our reactants are nitrogen and hydrogen and what we can see here, if we look at the number of moles, there's one nitrogen to three hydrogen. So the mole ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen is one to three. The mole ratio product, the mole ratio between hydrogen and ammonia is going to be 3 to 2. So 3 hydrogen to 2 ammonia. So for every mole of hydrogen we put into this, we can get 2 moles. All right, so in which case, let's say how many moles of ammonia will be produced when 0 0.60 moles of nitrogen reacts with hydrogen. All right, so if we have 0 0.60 moles of nitrogen. How many moles of ammonia? Okay, and like we've done before, we can do what you want, which is moles of NH3 over what you got, which is moles NH3. I'm sorry, moles N2. Okay, so moles NH3 to N2. All right, so we have to figure out there's two NH3 to one N2. All right, so now what can we cancel? We can cancel moles of nitrogen. We're left with moles of ammonia, good. And we have 0 0.60 times two, which gives us 1.2. Zero. So 0 0.60 moles of nitrogen will give us 1.20 moles of ammonia. Okay? So using mole ratios is actually really, really simple. Okay. So what if we needed to do a mass-to-mass -mass calculation, right? Because when we in grams, mass, and convert that to moles. So you're gonna have to follow certain steps, right? So first you measure in grams, or the problem will give you the amount of grams. Next, convert, then use that mole ratio like we just did, and from there convert back to grams. Okay, so this you've gotten used to, you've done that a bunch of times, you've done that a bunch of times, you've gone from grams to moles and moles to grams. So the only thing that's kind of new is the mole ratio, and that was really, really easy. So let's try one. Now, actually, what I'm going to want you to do here is I'm going to do the example, right? Then I want you to back it up, look at this question again, and try it on your own. Same question, same numbers, that's okay, but this way you're at least practicing the steps on your own. All right, so calculate the number of grams of NH3 produced by the reaction of 5 grams hydrogen with an excess of nitrogen. All this means is that we don't have to worry about the amount of nitrogen. We're just going to assume we have enough. All right, so we're going to start with 5 grams hydrogen. So that was step one. So we're going to have to convert this to moles. So we say 5.0 grams, and it's H2. We do what you want moles H2 over what you got grams H2 right and hydrogen is going to be right one hydrogen 
we'll just say is 1.0 grams per mole, but hydrogen, remember it's a Brinkelhoff, so it's H2, so two of them will be 2.0 grams per mole. So it ends up being, right, two is with the grams, so it stays five divided by 2.0, and we end up with two 2.5 moles hydrogen. Okay, so now the mole ratio. Well, in order to get the mole ratio, what do we need? We need a balanced equation. All right, so hydrogen with so H2 plus N2 is going to yield nitrogen, NH3. All right, well, since there's two nitrogens here, we need two here. That gives us six hydrogen, so we need a three here. All right, so now we're going to be ready to use our mole ratio. So we have 2.5 moles of hydrogen. What do we want? We want how many moles, NH3, how many moles of ammonia? And we have moles of hydrogen. So the ratio is two ammonia to three hydrogen okay so our moles of hydrogen cancel and that'll give us moles of NH divided by three so we end up with five over three which is we'll say one six seven moles NH three all right, so we used our mole ratio. Now we're ready to convert back to grams. So we want grams NH3. We've got moles NH3. Well, you molar mass, right? Nitrogen's 14. Each high NH3 is going to be, we'll say, 17.0 grams per one mole. And we end up with 1.67 times 17.0. These cancel. Bring up a calculator. Lovely. And 17.0 times 1.67 equals and we'll say 28.4. I'm going to say 28.4 grams. Grams of ammonia. All right, so what did we do? So we had our measurement in grams. We started with our five grams, and we converted that to moles by doing what you want over what you got, moles per grams, and we got 2.5 moles. We used our mole ratio that we got from our balanced equation, that it was two moles NH3 to three moles hydrogen. And we multiplied 2.5 times two and divided by three, and we got 1.67 moles of NH3. Then we do what you want over what you got, we wanted grams, we had moles. The gram formula mass is 17.0, so it ended up being 1.67 times 17.0, or 28.4 grams NH3. All right, so I want you to back that up and try all those steps on your own without me walking you through it and see how you do. All right, so what else can we do? We could also figure out the number of representative particles right we know that one mole of particle right, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles whether it's molecules or atoms right that was Avogadro's number right more review we can also go from moles to volume using something else you know 22.4 liters per mole at STP what do you have to remember about this that's for gases 
only doesn't work for liquids and solids right so if you're thinking water it's not 22.4 liters per mole nitrogen gas however takes up 22.4 liters per mole at STP so let's try one how many liters of nitrogen dioxide are produced when 34 liters of oxygen react with an excess of nitrogen monoxide and we're going to assume all conditions are at STP number 22.4 liters per mole all right, so the rules are basically the same, except instead of starting with grams like we did last time, now we're starting with liters. So we have 34 liters of oxygen, and we're going to have to figure out how many liters of nitrogen dioxide. All right, so we need to now write this chemical equation. So it's, we're going to have oxygen reacting with nitrogen monoxide. So that's nitrogen monoxide, one of each. Now the oxygen, it's a Brinkelhoff, so it's O2. And what are we making? Nitrogen dioxide. So nitrogen dioxide. There's two of them. All right, so now we can balance this. Uh, let's see. So we have three oxygens here and only two here. So let's try doubling this. That gives us two nitrogens. Put a two here. One, two, three oxygens. No, sorry. One, two, three, four oxygens because two times one is two plus two is four. Two times two is four. Good. We have a nice balanced equation. Okay. So now we're ready to convert this liters to mole. So we have liters of oxygen. We want moles of oxygen. We have liters of oxygen. And it's 22.4 liters per mole. So these will end up canceling. All right. So now we're ready to go from moles to moles. We're going to use our mole ratio. So we want how many moles nitrogen dioxide NO2. We've got moles O2. Well, there's two nitrogen dioxide to one O2. Remember, if there's nothing there, it's a one. So it's two to one. Those are going to cancel. So now we can go from moles NO2 to liters NO2. So we want liters NO2. We've got moles NO2. How many liters per mole? 22.4. All right, let's cancel what else we can. We have moles NO2 here and moles NO2 here. And I was pretty slick. All right, I knew I was going to end up with 22.4 on the bottom and 22.4 on the top. So I can go ahead and cancel them out. And what am I left with? 34 times 2, so I'm left with 68, and the only units I'm left with, liters NO2. How many liters nitrogen dioxide? 68 liters nitrogen dioxide. Back that up, and now try doing that, doing the same steps you wrote down on the previous slide. All right, we will be practicing a bunch more of these, and next week, this homework is going to be different. You're going to actually be doing a lot of these review questions at home just because you need a lot of practice. So first we'll do them in class together so you have the opportunity to ask all your questions and work through them. But then you're going to be practicing a bunch more at home. Alrighty guys, that's uh, the end of this video and I will see you in school.